Hello, today I'm showing you a video of a recent birthday card that I made using free machine embroidery. So as you can see, it's a picture of a cat wearing a party hat and sitting in front of a birthday cake. Obviously I don't recommend putting your cat right by a lit candle, but this is just for humorous effect. Okay, so to start with, I traced a drawing of a cat. So I looked online for something that looked like the idea I had in my head, just to give me something to base my drawing off. So I found a picture of a real cat that was sitting in front of a cake. I then drew my own version from that. So I drew a more, I guess, comic looking cat. And I did an outline of this. I then drew it on the computer. So I used a simple drawing software. Uh, the one I've got is Leonardo. And with this, I printed it off to the size I wanted that would fit my card template. So once I'd printed off the design in the size that I wanted that would fit onto my piece of card, I used a fabric pen which would vanish over time. I have used the water soluble fabric pens but I don't know if it's just the one I was using or it's the quality of the thread I'm using I think. Um, it's obviously not that great because I think the colour from the thread the dye from it was running and obviously that's not a brilliant effect that you want on your final design. So to begin with I used a thread to go all the way around my design so I think on the plate and the cake I used a black thread and I used a grey thread around the cat. As you can see, I wasn't too happy at how I did the eyes on the cat. I was trying to make them look a bit more realistic like cats. Um, but in the end, I just went for classic cartoon dot eyes. Just because they're so much easier to do in free machine embroidery. And yeah, I've obviously got some hang up on doing other style eyes. So yes, once I'd corrected the eyes, I carried on going round the design. So I added a little sort of pom-pom onto the top of the birthday hat. So for the tabby markings, I switched my machine stitch setting to a zigzag variation. I actually used the one where it varies from short zigzag to long, um, as you can see. So it kind of added a bit more texture to the design. So I'd really recommend that if you're doing a bit of free machine embroidery have a go at some of the other stitches they can come out quite nice you could always just use you don't even need to use the free machine embroidery foot on that section you could have just had it on the regular press of it um, but I mean it's I guess you've got a bit more control on how close the stitches are and it's just um, because I was obviously using the free machine foot to start with I would have had to have taken that off and you know put the other press the foot back on so it's just a bit of laziness really that I've I stuck with the free machine foot as well for the markings on the face I went down to the small zigzag setting so obviously if you do have a machine which where you can adjust the stitch width as well as the length I think mine only does length but if you do have one where you can um, adjust the width you can obviously um, completely tailor that which is excellent for the face because you don't want the the tabby markings to be quite as wide there So once I was happy with all of the stitching for this particular card, I decided to use some fabric pastels. So I just had these um, hanging around from when I've done textiles in the past. I'm basing this cat off my Nan's cat. So this was a card for my Nan. And so as a result, so she's got a ginger tabby, but it's quite a pale 
ginger tabby. So I was trying to trying to get the tone correct for her cat. I also used the pastels to create the color on the plate, the cake, the candlestick, and the hat. With these pastels, you basically you can put a bit on the fabric and then use a bit of water to help spread it and lighten the shade. Um, as you can see though, near the plate, it has actually run a bit over the line marks. So it's just something to be aware of if you do decide to use them yourself. Okay, so that's the end result. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you do want to see more content, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.